Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing all of the products that have so far emerged from upcoming men's collections for spring summer 2024, because why the fuck wouldn't you plan this far ahead? Okay, get all the people excited and then BAM! They've forgotten about it, spring summer 2024 rolls around and you're like, mm, I remember you. Basically, I've been gagging for it. Gagging at all of the things that have been coming up. And um, a few little few little surprises, some are a bit more predictable than others, but let's jump right into everything that we know so far. First of all, I'm going to start with some pieces that are coming up from Louis Vuitton very shortly between the end of June, start of July. Um, they've got a few little on prompt pieces in some fun colors. They've got a, what do we call this? Mini keypaw in like a blue on prompt with black matte black hardware, black strap, they've got a mini soft trunk, and then they've got some of these like larger tote bags in Ompron. Louis Vuitton, we fucking get it. You're pushing the leather products. We get it. We understand. You don't need to do everything in it. Give us some nice canvases. We're not all about the Ompron, but they're doing that still. Um, and they've also brought out to a Keepall 35. So obviously we've seen the mini Keepall from Louis Vuitton and then we go right up to the 45, but they brought out a 35 size. I personally have a speedy 35, which basically like for like the same kind of bag. And I find that a really good size, especially as like a carry on size um, when going on an airplane. Sits really well on top of your suitcase. It works for me. So I think the Keepall 35 is a good addition. Also, they brought out some epi pieces this is for fall winter 2023 all of these things that are coming out um, in the next few weeks um, so they've got this brown tan color epi which I quite like the bags are a bit like they're not you know groundbreaking but we've got a um, do they call it a neo no way no way some sort of bucket bag in the brown epi white strap or gray strap um, cool then they've got this really big Alma GM great if that's your vibe um and they've also got this little crossbody bag it's got a little um like it looks like one of those loopity things but it's like pressed up cool no worries louis vuitton very safe but cool bring it on now obviously trending at the moment uh is the wicker pieces all right pretty sure dale from dale's addiction she influenced the wicker trend um, and correct me if I'm right, but Dale was way ahead of the trends. She was loving the wicker textures way before these fashion houses, fashion houses, fashion houses caught a whiff of it. So I reckon Dale should be getting a commission, all right? But if you take a look at Celine and some bags that they've recently put out, they've got a few wicker pieces, which they've obviously invested quite a lot into this because generally Celine, you know. They're more on the conservative side. So I guess stepping out into wicker was a big, big leap for them. But we've got this kind of wicker basket bag. Um, this actually wasn't too expensive. I think I saw it on 24S for about 534 Australian dollars. So what, 300 US dollars? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, then they've got this Cleonf little, look, I'm calling this the sugar bowl or something or a tea bag holder. But they've got this. It's very expensive. I think it's like over $5,000 and it could probably hold about four tampons. Um, but they've got that. Then they've got this kind of messenger triumph, whatever you'd call it, in the wicker with the tan leather on top. Pretty cool. Very summery. Um, but we're liking the progress, Celine. You're on to something. Okay, you're stepping out of the boundaries. We're welcoming it. So there's that. But if we enter now into the spring summer 2024, you may have been scrolling on the socials and you happen to see Riri, okay? Belly pregnant and all, looking like a fierce queen. And she's about 14 months pregnant in this photo as well. Modeling for Louis Vuitton. I mean, talk about life goals. But then you got Pharrell in the front, like, <laughs> with Riri in the back with the, the belly out, carrying some sort of colorful monogram. And we're like, I'm intrigued. What is going on in there? I need to know the story. Well, come today or last night, whenever it was, 
um, some little propaganda has been released uh, with a series of speedy bandolier bags. They look at about, I don't know, speedy... Oh, no, not speedy. Oh, is it speedy? No, it is a speedy. It doesn't have the little things down the side. I'm assuming it's like a speedy 35, speedy 40, maybe 35, in some fun little colours, like a bowl of Skittles. We've got your blue, my favourite. You've got red. We've got yellow. We've got green. We've got orange. All with a kind of pre-darkened vachetta. They all look really good. I think these are going to be incredibly popular. Just because we don't see any more classic monogram with a little bit of a twist. It's always the blobs, or it's always something just completely different. Here, I think they've nailed it. This is obviously going to showcase on the, the 20th of June. So today in Australia, it's the 20th of June. So I'm assuming it'll be tomorrow. So when this video goes up, it'll be the same day. You're welcome. Um, but keep an eye out on that because I think that's gonna be bang on the money. And I think Pharrell's spreading his tentacles out Louis Vuitton and getting a feel. And I think this is gonna go really well. But what has really won my heart over was the Fendi Men's Spring Summer Runway Show. Be still my beating heart. Because there were a few pieces and I was like, hold up, let me zoom in on what we're looking at there because I think they're onto something. Now they had quite a few kind of cool pieces. They had this coffee holder thing where it's like a bag where you'd carry coffees. And my first thought was three coffees, that is not enough, you need like 20. But cool, they've had some kind of larger bags. The ready to wear was very kind of gender fluid. Uh, what else do they have? Uh, they had a lot of the Peekaboo X Cross, so the smallest men's Peekaboo. They had one in Python, mixing and matching with lots of materials. Great, we love it. They had some of the Peekaboo ICUs in this kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, like industrial woodworky kind of like I took, you know, wood tech in high school vibe. So they've got a lot of that stuff going on, mixing and matching with textures. Cool, we love to see it. But 11 p.m. Sunday night, Dale sends me said image and I was just taken back by such beauty, okay? My beloved soft trunk baguette that I've got in the black leather, silver hardware, chef's kiss that one. They have it running on the walkway, walking on the runway, that's what I meant, in fucking wicker, okay? I nearly had a fucking aneurysm when I saw this because... I want something in Wicca, but I don't want something that's just not me. Like, I want something that I already like in Wicca, okay? They brought out one of my favourite Fendi bags in fucking Wicca, okay? Photos roll. Show everyone what I'm talking about. I just... Uh, I'm trying to find the photo as I talk. Ooh. Oh, there it is. I am just absolutely gobsmacked, and I want this bag, okay? I want this bag. So it's in this really nice kind of clean, light wicker. Obviously it's got silver hardware on the buckle there. It looks black, but it's just reflecting, but it's silver. And it's got this dark brown leather trim, which I think maybe not my favorite color, but I think they're trying to, I guess wicker generally is quite feminine or it can be depending on the bag. So they try to kind of bulk it over with the darker leather, celeria leather with the stitching. So I think it does work. Um, and it'll just, I guess, I'm waiting to see what kind of strap they use on this bag. A lot of the Fendi men's bags, they put these fucking hideous nylon straps on them, which the nylon isn't hideous. It, it, it's fine. But if you've got this all leather bag in blue with a black nylon strap, it just kind of wrecks it. It's kind of a bit too harsh. So hopefully they use the same leather as the strap here um, just to kind of keep it all, keep it all good and kosher. But we'll see. But I want this bag, okay? Price guesstimates, I'm going to say, so the leather, the normal version is about 3,100 Australian dollars. I think this will be anywhere from that to 5,000 Australian dollars. They love to put a little, a little raffia, I don't know what's it called, wicker tax on these bags. I get it, a lot more work goes into it. Cool. I reckon somewhere in the 4000 to $5,000 mark, if I'm to guessing correctly. I'd hope it's about 3800 but I reckon it'll be somewhere up there. Um, and more to come, but I like freaking want this bag so bad. And 
I just hope it goes into production. You never bloody know with these people. They did do a version of it in like a darker colored wicker, similar thing, darker. I'm not too keen on that yellowy wicker, like that darker yellow. I like the really clean, fresh looking wicker. But that's be still my heart that is beating. And um, just have to wait and see. It's going to be like a year away by the time it comes out. But it's got my eyes on you, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Was there anything that you've seen recently that's come up that you're very eager to see? Have you seen some of these things? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I'd love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very shortly in my next video. Bye.